Hey, hello everybody! Today my grandma has a happy birthday time and I did congratulation to her and our family was today celebrating this good performance inside of our like a room because of quarantine she is uh, 70 years old so yes it is big number like uh, almost 100 uh, minus 30 and you will have it it is so big and huge number I want to congratulate you even on this social media platform as a uh, YouTube Yes, you can uh, say some words if you want in the comment section below. I will tell to her, like uh, some people from from uh, <laughs> your country will say to you that uh, everything is good, like a, a some a, from someone else's uh, Trump country. Yes, that <laughs> rush kind of hate. Uh, it is uh, like a social media battle. Well, I mean that uh, television battle, like. Uh, speaking speaking boxes okay and uh, behind it uh, today we were watching at albums albums with photos photos of my mom photos of my grandma photos of my sister and of my father that i don't have right now because i have a stepfather and we were watching some photos and i realized that uh, right now my mom she's uh, how much almost uh, 48 14, 48, almost 48 years old, 48, yes, 40, 48, and uh, she was some day 24, and she was so, like, a damn beautiful, I want to say to you, I want, I will show you a photo of my mom when she was, like, look, she's 24 here, and you can think, like, uh, she's uh, right now here. She's uh, 1971 years old birthday. And it means that she has right now 48 years old. And uh, it is kind of really something. I am right now 22 years old. And maybe in some day I will be 48. And I will think that, Jesus, I was some day so young, so like a so young and so bloody fresh and right now i'm not so super nice and beautiful in a shape of nature maybe i will be in a shape of health like i will have a good health of a sport workout thing but uh, totally we have some something cha some changes in our life and i want to be a good person in this years and i understand What's difference between me at five years old when I was, I will show you right now my photo when I was five years old. It is me with Harry Potter. I will show you right now. It's me sitting here. Please focus. Okay, you can see this boy with <laughs> this t-shirt with a Harry Potter here with uh, tight ropes. <laughs> I don't know, tight ropes, tie... I mean that things that you can wear here, males inside of stockings or something like that. It is kind of fashion for people who are five years old. And I understand what's difference. Difference is how many people I met, how many knowledge I have and how many I shared to another people. Because when we look at albums, we look at some moments we remember some moments and we think we always want to find someone who was near us or who are we right now we don't wa want to watch at someone else who is not our person who we didn't know before like a photo for example photo of your class yes classroom classmates and you inside of this classmates I mean this among your classmates like a 30 persons 30 people different people and you watch at you and a different people and uh, from your cl class class classmates yes and behind it maybe will be some random person that you didn't know and you will not know and if you didn't contact with him if you didn't communicate with him you will you will not like i mean you will not think about him that it, he is so needful and so like a person that you need to pay attention on. You pay attention only on people who you you are talking a lot and who you are like connecting sometimes. You pay attention on your classmates. You pay attention pay attention on your friends, on your like uh, acquaintances, business acquaintances. Not like on person who are random strangers yes and 
the total like a thing what should we do we should communicate with as much amount of people as possible and to give them value as much as possible too maybe have a photo with them maybe have like a communication with them that will be good have a nice gigging like a playing guitar or maybe karaoke uh, singing i was watching at some photos when i was five years old and i was singing karaoke it was kind of funny we were watching albums and do something that will bring value i think it is the most powerful advice that i can give right now as 22 years old yes i'm not a guru of life that will share what to do but my intuition says that we should bring the most value to people and be active always active on life the more active we will be in total we will be in a graveyard yes we are temporary and uh, the more legacy we will how to say it back we will will left we we will uh, yes left behind us leave behind we will leave behind us the more valuable your life will be was is yes i hope that you understand me thank you so much for watching this video congratulations to my grandma congratulations for my mom because she's your daughter congratulations to me too for another my family members and uh, all we have what we have in this current in time it is our acquaintances and even if you don't have a friends if you don't have friends if you don't have like acquaintances or someone who will support your family then i will support you my man and you are not alone at least you have you inside of you remember about it and you are the most powerful and the most valuable gift that you have in your life that you can share around even if you are alone today if you are alone maybe for this month for this year but then in total you can share it to another people share love share kindness you are a good person always improve yourself daily the most valuable things that i want to share it is creativeness loveliness to people sharing is caring things and uniqueness it is maybe things that I want to share on this and always learning. It is things, my, my, like a mindset that I want to share to you. See you in the next day. You're a cool man. Bye bye.